So I've shown you videos on uh, growing crops in my NFT system that are not typical because uh, in an NFT system, I told you it's uh, lettuce is the king of the NFT uh, crops, but you can grow eggplant. I mean, look, we're ready for harvest. You can grow tomato, you can grow pepper. I'm growing mustard here, I have basil. But of course, it comes with its own challenges. Lettuce is nice because it has a small root system. Look at this mustard. It has been harvested three, four times already. But look at the root system. It's like a huge carpet. Can it be done? Is it sustainable? Well, it's working. It's all wet. I don't see anything rotting. I see still new growth here. Even towards the end, the roots are are, are continue to grow and they entered that uh, the return pipe okay so that is something you have to be careful about when you're cleaning the system is or even during the cycle growth cycle once in a while go and remove any roots that are growing here into a return pipe can it be done yes one year i grew mint for a whole year uh, in an nft system and once in a while i come and i cut i cut the roots here give them a haircut uh, to encourage new root growth because most of these roots here they probably dead okay this on top is nice this uh, on bottom the white ones are fine so it can be done uh, as a hobby i mean Commercial growers, they laugh you out of your business if you tell them grow mustard or eggplant or basil or uh, in an NFT system. It's just too much work. Okay, labor is expensive. Can it be done? Yes, if you know how to manage it, if you check it regularly to make sure that these roots that entered, that continue to grow out are not clogging the water flow and give the roots a haircut. So like here's the plant here, cut a section from here to here, and then from here to here, and then from here to here to encourage new growth to grow.